The next thing that we're going to do is edit the about page. So let's just click on about. And the first thing that we're going to do to edit the about page is get rid of this title up here and get rid of this sidebar. So to do that, click on edit page, scroll down and under content layout, do 100% full width. That will get rid of the sidebar and under title, click disable. That'll get rid of the title. Then scroll up and press update and click view page. Now you have the whole page to work with. Once you're done with that, click edit with Elementor and click add new section. And what we want to do here is add a big image to the background and some text in the middle. So we're going to choose three columns and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Then we can change the width of the column by just click, hold and dragging. I'm going to make it 30 on the left side and 30 on the right side and just readjust a little bit. There you go. And that will give us 40 in the center. All right, click the edit column button and click on style and background type. Click classic and choose an image. We're just going to upload files and select files. And we're just going to choose a picture of us and press open and insert media. All right, it's inserted, but we can't see it because it's really light blue at the top and there's not enough space from the top to the bottom. So if we scroll down and under size, we choose cover and under position, we do center center that will center the image so that we can see it. So it's not light blue at the top, but it's still not tall enough. So let's add some content. So if we click on the add elements button and drag in a text editor to the center column and click paste as text to paste in some text. Then we can highlight the text and center it. Then click style. And we're going to make the text 70, 70, 70, which is this gray color. Turn typography on, make the text size 22 and the weight 300. So it's pretty thin and click advanced and unlink the margin values. And for the top, we're going to add a lot of margin 125. And for the bottom, we're going to add a lot of margin to 375. So that will expand the image and give it a bunch of space so that we can actually see the image. All right. If we scroll down, we can click background and choose classic and choose a color. Let's choose white so that we can see the text easily and we can make it a little clear if we want, but I just like it white. And now you can understand more why I did the three columns and that's because the center column has the background color and the text on it, and it makes it much better than it going all the way to the edges. So those columns are pretty much invisible, but it really helps us position our content better. All right, now we can click save to save our progress, exit out of there and view our page and the top section looks done. And that looks pretty cool. All right, let's exit out of there and continue with the second section by clicking edit with Elementor. So in this section, we want some text underneath our image. So we're going to add a new section. And again, we're going to do three columns because we want space on the left side and the right side. If the text just went all the way from the left side, all the way to the right side, it wouldn't look good and it's hard for you to read. So you definitely want text to have space on the left and right side. So I'm just going to do 15% on the left side and 15% on the right side, which will give us 70% in the center. Then we can add in some text by dragging in a text editor and we can highlight the text and click on the paste as text button and paste in some text or type it in. Then click on the center button to center it and click style for text color. We're going to do 70, 70, 70 again. So that gray color turn typography on make the size 23 pixels and for font weight we're going to do 300 then click advanced and unlink the values together and for margin top let's do 100 and margin bottom let's do 100 so let's give it a little space on the top and on the bottom click save and exit out of there and view our page and we can see that that looks pretty cool I love all of the white space around it. It really gives it a refreshing feeling. All right, we can exit out of Elementor. So we only have one tab 
and edit with Elementor again to start on the third and final section. So for this, I just want to put a bunch of pictures of maybe me and my dog and my wife, just so that it's more friendly at the bottom here. So we're going to scroll down and add new section and choose the three columns again, because I'm going to have three images. And where the first column is, let's edit the column by clicking on this button. Then going to style and under background type, clicking classic. And let's choose an image and upload file and select file. And let's put in a picture of my dog and press open and click insert media. All right, but we don't see anything right here because there's not enough space. So let's go ahead and add an element by clicking on this button and let's add a spacer. So let's just add some space, put it right in there. And finally we can see part of it. So let's add 200 space, 200 pixels of space and click on the edit column again and go to style. And for position, let's do center center. And for size again, Let's do cover so it shows almost the entire picture. All right, now let's do that for the next column. Let's add in a space, put in 200 pixels, click on the edit column button and go to style, background type, click classic, choose your image and upload files, select files, select the image you want and press open, then click insert media. And for position, Let's choose center, center, and for size, let's do cover. All right, so I'm in there. Now let's add another element. Let's add some space to the third column. Just click, hold, and drag in, put in 200. Click on the edit column button, click style, background type classic. You should be getting good at this. Choose your image, upload files, select files. Let's put in a picture of my wife. Press open, insert media. Position, center, center, size, cover. All right, so the three of us are in there. That's looking pretty cool. Now we can edit all of the columns by clicking on this button. And let's make it full width because if we don't, there's gonna be space on the side of the images. You can't see it right now, but if we go on the regular website, there'll be space on the left of uh, my dog and on the right of my wife. So we're just gonna do full width and press save exit out of there and view our page and we can check out our page and that looks pretty cool. All right, so we are done with the about page. What we can do is check what it looks like on our phone, click on the menu, go to the about page and it looks pretty good. All of those columns stacked up on top of each other, which makes it look awesome. All right, so we're done with the about page. 